Hey there, my name's Adam Kovidak. And I'm Catherine McIntyre. And we're education students here at St. Evex, and with the help of KT Melanson, we're putting together a video to raise awareness about mental health services here on campus. Oftentimes there are obvious or subtle visual cues that will show a friend that is in distress, so we'd like to just list a few of those for you. So one thing that really sticks out is when people aren't interested in their hobbies anymore. If you notice that someone stopped going to a sporting event, board gaming, anything like that, and they're not uh, as enthusiastic as they were about hobbies, that can be a sign. The other thing is if they don't like to talk about schoolwork, if they express that they don't have good relationships with their family or friends, and if they have a very troubling work life. These can be signs. Now what we want to stress is that you can have bad days, but it's important to talk about these times because when they're reoccurring, that's when things are problematic, and that's when you can have a period who slips through the cracks. So behind us here is the Bloomfield Center. The Health and Counseling Center is located on the third floor, right by the info desk. Hi, and welcome to the Health and Counseling Center. My name is Susan Beeson, and I'm the administrative assistant here. We are open from Monday to Friday, Mondays from 8.30 a.m. until 8 p.m. Tuesdays, uh, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we are open from 8.30 to 4.30, and Thursdays from 8.30 to 8 p.m. You can drop by in person or call to make an appointment at 867-2263, and I can uh, help you make an appointment with the intake office nurse. Um, when you do visit us at the Health and Counseling Center, we will ask some questions about your demographics, your local address, your cell phone number, who would you like us to contact in the event of an emergency. It's very important that every visit that you drop by to see us, please bring your health card, and we want to help as many people as we possibly can, so please don't be a no-show. My name is Patty Corston and I'm the intake nurse. My job is to listen to your need or concern and then based on what you tell me, I match you with the most appropriate member of our team in a timely manner that works with your academic schedule. So when someone comes into my office, sometimes they know what their need is and other times they're just not sure. Sometimes they've been sent here by someone else who feels that they're requiring our services. Um, so usually I start with a basic question. So what brings you to our office today? And if they don't know, I usually start them with a few questions. Tell me how your year's been going. What brought you to Sanibax? How are you sleeping? How are you eating? Are you enjoying your time here? And usually students will start then to reveal more information uh, about what brought them to the health center, or sometimes we're able to decipher what that issue is. Sometimes it's a pretty basic, simple thing that they know they have a sore throat, they need to see the doctor. Sometimes it's a lot more in depth and it requires the care and the services of our counseling team. I mean, you know, this is where we do counseling and, and therapy, basically. So students come in, have to serve first to be met by a nurse, as they probably told you, and then they're booked with myself or Isabel or Jim. And uh, so we make a, an assessment of the situation, why, why they're consulting. So it can be anything from stress with relationships, stress with, with school, stress with exams, to more serious problems of anxiety disorder or depression or the type of mental illnesses. So we do the whole, the whole gamut here. So usually after the first session, we kind of summarize and then we, we offer kind of a treatment plan and agreement with, with the student that we discuss. And so uh, how many times are going to come back and what are our goals for, for therapy? And after that, we, we start working on those, on those goals together, really, because therapy is really a partnership between the client, as we call them, and, and the therapist. So it's pretty, uh, yeah, it's a collaboration. So uh, some people come for only one session, others come for two or three, and others come for a little longer. But um, most people, it's pretty short. We have kind of a short-term uh, uh, model. So you know, between two and five sessions usually, people start feeling a little better usually, and uh, that's, where, that's the way it works. Yeah, so from anything, like I said, depression or eating disorders or, or sometimes other types of, of uh, problems that are a little more serious. If it's very serious, which ha happens sometimes, we, we collaborate with mental health services or addiction services here at the local hospital. Um, we work in collaboration with our family physicians as well here when people need medication or have a second opinion on a diagnosis, for instance, and they can access psychiatry at, at the hospital if we need really more specialized type of care. So. 
Okay, so we hope you have a really great understanding of what it's like to access the Health and Counseling Center at St. Evacs. And if you have any other questions, there's a list of resources available at the end of this video and they're both on and off campus. We cannot stress how important it is to seek help if you believe that you do need some. And we hope that with your knowledge of where the Health and Counseling Services are located here on campus that you will seek that help that you need. Um, so remember to take care of yourself and to take care of each other.